Hello everyone, hope you all are doing really well. I'm back here with another session on CMA US MCQs. So today I have taken questions from the students which have forwarded it to me. They're finding it a bit difficult on solving these questions. So I'm going to solve these three questions. I have taken three questions actually. So I'll be solving it here with you guys. So if you have any questions uh, related to these or if you're having your questions which you want me to solve, then I will solve it for you. So before I start with this session, let me just talk about the Power BI workshop which is happening on 23rd of uh, July. It's happening on a Sunday. It's going to be full day. I'll be able to connect with you all. I'll be able to put you on hands-on training for the Power BI session. It's in Hyderabad this time. Maybe later on, if it goes on well, I'm going to come into your city where there will be people who want to learn about the Power BI. Especially for the CMA students, this will be a highly beneficial tool. Highly, uh, you know, it's a really good power visualization tool, data visualization tool. So it will add value to you for sure. So it is a really good opportunity. Reach out to me, enroll for that uh, workshop. That will be highly helpful for you. So now, let us start with this question. I hope you are able to see it on the screen. Um, yeah. So here, and a retail entity maintains a markup of 25% based on cost. The entity has the following information or the current year. The purchases is 690,000. Fry 10 on purchase is 25,000. Sales is 900,000 and ending inventory is 80,000 and here they are asking what is the beginning inventory now to solve this okay it's always suggested that you make a book like this okay and maintain a book something like this solve it roughly because if you don't learn it you have to do it okay so let me just do it uh, here roughly so make sure that you make a t-table whenever you have this cogs question something like this make a t-table and then on this t-table if you just see this is purchases right purchases will go here 690,000 then write in purchases will also go here 25,000 and then the next one is sales sales goes here 900,000 and after that ending inventory is 80,000 and I need to find out the beginning inventory so if I start doing the balancing right now it will be wrong because I have not taken the profit okay i have not taken the gross profit now to take the gross profit what do i need to do just see this here in the question it has given 25 percent okay 25 percent markup on cost when 25 percent is a markup on cost then automatically on sale value it will be 20 percent so the sale value is 900,000 into 20 percent uh, i would always say that you guys should have a calculator i am not having it right now in front of me because i have given it to someone who is preparing for the exam so 900,000 multiplied by 0 0.2, which is 20%, I get 180,000. 180,000 here is my gross profit. Now let me do the balancing here. So the total here is 980,000 minus 980,000 minus 690,000 minus 25,000 minus 180,000 I am getting 85,000 okay so my beginning inventory is 85,000 and that's the answer now if suppose you are having a doubt sir what is this markup 25 percent and this cost 25 get this straight see this markup method is something which is related to inclusive and exclusive of profit so whenever something is exclusive of it, what do you do? You just uh, multiply, you know, when there is an exclusive of profit, like suppose your profit, just do this. Let me just show you with a short example. Suppose your sale value is uh, 100, okay? Your sale value is 100, then 20 is your profit then your cost will be how much 80 so basically this is your cost this is your profit and this is your sale price 
Now, suppose if I see, show you this on my cost, okay. If I have to find out what is the profit on cost based on percentage, what will I do? I will take 20 divided by 80. I would get what is 25%. Simple. Whereas, same way, I do this 20 divided by 100 to get my profit on sale. 20 by 100, my profit is how much? 20%. This is a basic calculation, starting calculation, which I hope everybody knows it. But if you don't know it, then this is how you calculate. Almost everything is like this, like 16.67, 20, 20, 25, 25, 33, like this. Like, <laughs> you've done it so many times that I remember it by heart. So let us move towards the next question. Okay. Let me just uh, finish this. Yeah, here. Yeah. This is also a really interesting question. An entity has 50% gross margin, general administrative expenses of $50, interest expense of $20, and net income of $10. For, <coughs> for the year just ended. If the corporate tax rate is 50%, the level of sales revenue for the year just ended was. Now for those students, uh, who are answering it for the first time, this will look a little bit tricky for you that, sir, what exactly is the, are they asking? But let me just tell you, this is a simple reverse calculation. And to do this simple reverse calculation, you should be aware of and you should be by hearted with your income statement. Now, understand this. How does the income statement go here? I'm putting it a bit roughly. Please manage it. Sales minus variable cost will give you contribution minus fixed cost will give you what operating profit or earnings before interest and tax and so on then after that from this what you minus you minus your interest you will get what earnings before tax and here you will minus your tax you will have earnings after tax and then you have uh, you can minus your preference dividend then earnings available for equity shareholders that's how the statement goes on but for now understand this guys here what have they given they have given the earning the net income okay net income as ten dollars so basically here itself this net income is how much ten dollars and he has given us straightforward that the corporate tax rate is 50%. Now understand this. If 50% is corporate tax rate, after deducting of 50%, you are remaining with $10. It means that 50% is the tax. 50% uh, of means same this is the tax, which is $10. The tax is $10. That makes, if I add this tax 10 back, I will get what? 20 which is my earnings before tax my earnings before tax is 20 and then what is the interest given here to me it is 20 dollars so my interest is 20 dollars i add back interest my earnings before interest and tax becomes 40 i guess there with me my earnings before interest and tax becomes 40 and then there is this administrative expense of 50 dollars this is nothing but my fixed cost, right? So, I add $50. It becomes how much? 90. And here, one more thing, one more thing. My gross margin is 50%. So, 90 is after deducting that 50%. It means my variable cost is also 90. And my variable cost is 90. Automatically, my sales will become 180 in your materials okay in your materials whether it's glim hawk wiley or the ima study kit retired questions maybe you will not find a detailed explanation like this if you're finding if, you, if you're not able to find a detailed explanation like this then this is where it is and if you're finding this video helpful then just like this video okay there are hundreds of people liking but very sorry hundreds of people watching but very few liking the video why why do you doing like this like this video also share it with someone for whom it would be helpful so the answer here is 180 
I hope you guys are understanding this. It is just you should have clarity and a lot of practice, lot of practice. Me remembering this complete income statement is not a one day task, okay, or a one year task. It has taken years and years of practice, years and years of qualifications completed, and that's how I am able to do it. You can also do it. It's just that you need to practice more. So let's move towards the next and last question. Uh, shall I also zoom it in? Okay, I'll be here now. Now I'll be there. Now, an entity had the following opening and closing inventory balances for the current year. Finished goods, raw materials, work in progress. The following transactions and events have occurred during the current year, which 300,000 raw materials were purchased, of which 20,000 were returned to defects. 600,000 were direct labor, 750,000 was production overhead cost. The cost of goods sold for the current year. The cost of goods sold for the current year is the question. So let me just understand. Uh, see, cost of goods sold, what do we do? We take uh, the beginning inventory, add the beginning inventory with the purchases or the direct expenses minus the closing stock. I get my cost of goods sold. But here, um i have my finished goods opening i have my finished goods closing but then i have these stuff okay raw materials work in progress now with this i actually want to find out what is the cost of goods manufactured what is the cost of goods manufactured i want to find that out first okay so let me just take the materials first okay that raw materials let me just take how much is the raw materials for this particular year so i have purchased how much okay i'll do it like this i have purchased how much 300000 my opening is uh, 105000 my closing is uh, 130000 and i have returned also 20000 is there anything else i don't think so so let me just calculate it 105,000 plus 300,000 minus 20,000 minus 130,000 so it is 255,000 with my raw materials okay with my raw materials it is 255,000 now let us move forward towards this uh, let us take into consideration this uh, work in progress also and my direct labor and production overhead cost okay so let me just put it here okay let me just put it a little bit here this side okay so my working progress opening is how much 220000 and my working progress closing is 175000 and then I'll be uh, taking 255,000 which is of materials and uh, I'm taking 600,000 of my direct labor and 750,000 of my variable production overhead and not production overhead variable and all that stuff he has not given so let me just total it up I guess I'm not missing out anything here 220,000 plus 255,000 plus 600,000 plus 750,000 minus 175,000 yeah 1.65 million okay one 165 yeah, where did my calculator go near cause cause after the 165 double zero double zero fine so now this is my amount of i can say this cost of goods manufactured okay so basically manufactured or purchase one and the same and then after that i have i have to take my opening and closing that's it so cost of goods manufactured is uh, one six five double zero double zero and uh, then is my opening inventory how much is my opening inventory 90,000 and my closing inventory is 260,000 
and nothing else is there because already I have adjusted everything. 165,000, 1.65 million plus 90,000 minus 260,000. So the answer is cost of goods sold is 148000. And I guess I don't have the options here, so the answer is. 148 1.48 uh, million hopefully that is only the answer i don't know whether i am right or wrong you guys can go and check i uh, hope you guys have the material or this type of questions in front of you so now i hope that this type of session is helpful for you if yes then like this video share this video with someone who would be benefited by viewing this session I hope that I made a lot of sense in this video and if you want to join in my Power BI workshop, I will put in the link to register down below. Basically, I will put in the Google form and if you are, if you have made up your mind and you want to join that, you are in Hyderabad and you want to join into that particular workshop and directly go ahead and uh, make that payment so that you get registered. Then we reach out to you, check your laptop and then get your names and everything right so that you, we can give you the certification at the end of the workshop too. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next session.